Hello everybody, I hope everybody's having a great day today. What are we doing today? Crayons. <laughs> I have had this at the ready to film for two months. <laughs> so yeah, crayons. Let's get into it. Okay. First. First, 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 whoops, there, there, there's more that fell out. This is a double. What I mean by that is this is a mini of Black Star from By Terry. Or is it? Let me double check. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mini of Black Star. Uh, and I got it in a combo pack of powder, cream, that kind of wonderful stuff. And this has a bit of a story to it. I shouldn't have gotten this. This was an accident. A, a very happy accident, but an accident nonetheless. I think I've got my light too high again. I tend to do that. I don't know why. There we go. Look at how beautiful that is. I had this in my cart, Amazon cart. I'm constantly putting stuff in and taking stuff out. And a hubby wanted to buy something and he decided to buy the whole cart. I think it was only like $30, $25 at the time when it was in there. And he tells me he bought everything in the cart. I'm like, but, 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 oh well. <laughs> and I didn't know anything about By Terry yet. And I got this and I just fell in love. That was, that was a problem. That was a big problem. <laughs> Um, okay, I've got the NYX Jumbo. I got, I decluttered the black because I really didn't need it. And the white is not a bad thing to have. Every now and then do a black inner corner. Uh, what else am I going to show you first? I'm going to show you my Clinique Chubby Sticks, which also I do not use often enough. This one is in fudge there we go it is beautiful it is very beautiful um i don't know what i'm doing with those yet okay this one is curvaceous coal oh, so beautiful good lord i really need to use this stuff more and then lots of latte there we go now these are a little too dark, I think, for what I want to do today. But there we go. This one I think I'm going to declutter. This is Tristique, and it's Belgium Truffle. The reason I'm thinking of decluttering it is because I now have a good... Why do I feel so short today? A good brown eyeliner. And... This is a little more fine, so a, le a little bit easier to use. Yeah, it's a little bit darker, but when you smear things out, you don't really notice. So yeah, I think this is going to be a declutter. Didn't think I was going to declutter anything, but there we go. So off the table. Now, next ones. These are minis from uh, Laura Mercier. And this is what got me into crayons. So the first one is Amethyst. And it is gorgeous as well, but uh, not into purples much. This one is Intense Rose Gold. There we go. a little more shimmery hence the intense I wish they were all intense but they're not this one is magnetic pink why can it not be intense magnetic pink it's um, a tad on the pale side <laughs> and then we've got I'm gonna put these aside because we never know what's gonna happen today I have this one from Luxaza, which is one of their more expensive crayons, I guess because they have the intensity. This one is a mystery color. 
but it is quite beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> and it's got a little poof at the other end. Before I go into the other Luxaza ones, I want to talk about my first, my one and only hard candy, which is in, uh, it's called Prism Eye Stick in Shimmer Pink and Choose. It's, yeah, shimmery is right. It's, it's quite shimmery. There we go. So there is that one. And then I've got ha, ha, my one and only Mally that I got from um, BoxyCharm. Their last, the last BoxyCharm I put in. Uh, these are overpriced as far as I'm concerned. Where's, where's the name? Where's the name? Moonlight. Um, right there, let's see if we can see it. Yeah, this is more of an inner corner highlight. Okay, there we go. That's better. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that aside for an inner corner highlight. Now, if you notice, I've got bronzer on, but I didn't do the rest because I wasn't sure what eye color I would do. And I don't want to put a coral if I do pink, that kind of thing. So that goes there. Now the other two, three that I wanted to talk about, the e.l.f. I'm trying to organize my brain and it's not working very well. Okay, e.l.f. I have three. I have Thrift Shop. Why do they not all get together and put the names where they belong? So there is Thrift Shop, very much a cool tone, very much a khaki. There we go. Then I've got Rose Gold. This one is a lot more orangey than the other Rose Gold. I um, like it seems everybody has their own take on Rose Gold. Very close. Whoa. This one has more pink than this one does. This one has more coral in it. Or I should say, sorry, more gold, more yellow gold in it. Okay, that's that's close. Okay, there's that one. And then there is Magnetic Pull, which is wanting to come out. You're not allowed to come out and play. A very beautiful cool toned mauve matte. Let me check something out because that's what we do. We play. Playing is fun. See how it would look with amethyst. I think that would be nice on top of each other. Yeah. These are all in the pink purple tones. They only, these were sent to me. Um, they only allowed me one and it flew out. All right, so this one is no name. I would have loved to be able to get, where am I gonna go? Um, two sets, but there you go. I would have taken a cool toned one. <laughs> and then there is, these are called Color Magic. Look at this. <laughs> Hubby's gonna come home and he's gonna look at me. What? <laughs> he's just gonna shake his head. <laughs> look at that. I really don't use these enough. <laughs> okay, we're going into a bit lighter now. more from the Luxaza. They really are nice. And as you can tell from, I hope, from my being, putting them down, that they are quite creamy. And then number 
last. I'm gonna have to put it here if you can see it. It's pretty much a white. No, you won't be able to see that. Okay, let's try it over here under the NYX. There we go. That's pretty as well. Can't handle this. Okay, I have three more. Laura Mercier. I got these from Poshmark. Where am I going to put stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wild Rose. pretty look at the dimension on that that's wow wow not a lot of people seem to use shadow sticks strike a rose and I don't know why I mean every time I see declutters everybody's got them oh strike a rose is quite similar to this one <laughs> Maybe not. I'll stop trying to dupe. I w <laughs> okay, and then Rose Thorn. That's dark. That, that, that's dark. Okay. As you guys can tell, I am wearing pink. This one is not going to be today. Um, I'm not doing chubby sticks. I have to do this because otherwise it's going to be insane. I'm not doing the NYX. Uh... I'm not doing that one. Hard candy will stay out. That stays out. I'm going to put the elf away and I'm going to put this Luxaza away. My little, I'm going to keep magnetic pink out, but the rose gold and the amethyst will, I'm going to keep this one out. No, that's orange. Far too orange. That's purple. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's bright. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm running out of room. Everything was in there. These two will be inner corners. And I want to do, I think, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. None. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. So I'm going to start off with Strike a Rose. Okay, I've got, I don't have my favorite cream shadow brushes here because they're waiting to be washed. So I've got these out. Let's start with one. Yeah, I noticed the other day when I did it, it does make a difference. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Wild Rose. I know these tend to be supposed to be used for a one and done shadow, but we should know by now that's not how I fly. I like one and done, don't get me wrong, but I like going overboard <laughs> just a little bit. I've got that one little doodad that just will not go down and set. All right, let's see what Molly can do for me. For 25 US dollars, it better do a lot. other than crumble. Stupid camera. I know it has to turn itself off to not overheat, but it 
it's annoying. <laughs> it's definitely annoying. Okay, so I've got that. I've got that. Am I done? No. <laughs> Sharpen. I don't like it when the... Much better. I don't want to put pink inside my waterline because... Okay. Yeah, pink eye. trying for the first time just at the lash line not the water I'm not I'm not putting it on my upper water line I'm just putting it on the lash line underneath it's the first time I do that man that's creamy okay Yes, I have very watery eyes, which is why nothing sticks to my waterline. The second I step outside, my eyes start to <laughs> drip. Okay, before we get into more of that and my eye lashes, I'm going to put you back. Okay, this is what I brought. I brought one highlighter from um, Westman Atelier and it's a mini. I brought my Dominique Cosmetics Soft Pink. Yeah. I brought my Wonder Beauty Stick, whatever it is, and uh, there's the blush highlight is nice and there's the highlight but I think it's a Dominique Cosmetics day wish me luck ooh that's pigmented <laughs> I need a chemical peel or just something because I'm just nothing but I am all I don't even know what the word is pores texture is bad if I if I can see it this well in a mirror that's not as strong as I need <laughs> I can just imagine what you guys can see <laughs> okay so I did not show you a swatch of the Westman Atelier I still didn't. Running out of space. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, <laughs> it, it's the, depending on the lights. I don't know how well you guys see it. I don't have professional lighting system. But from this side of the multiverse, it's pretty. <laughs> it really is. I have a bronzer, contour. I have two of the highlights. They need to come out with a couple of blushes so I can get them. Alrighty then, so the next step, I'll be back. Back. Okay. Rare Beauty, yes, it's a mini. Doesn't look like I've put anything on. 
if I had space, I'd compare it to the Charlotte Tilbury. But I wanted to do something simple, and I wanted to use this, my Maracuja. I don't know what color it's in, but <laughs> that color. <laughs> so let's try this. Okay, I was thinking my clicker better not be broken. Man, it's shiny. I love that shine. Maybe that's why I started using um, glosses more because of the shine. But yeah, yeah, yeah I put a lot on a lot because I've got the lines going. But I don't care. <laughs> it's going to dissipate soon enough. So it's beautiful. It really is. It. The only thing I have a problem with is, yeah, it's coconutty, but it's chemical co coconut. So, I, I, <laughs> am I picky? Yeah, sure. Oh, here's my Charlotte, because I rarely compare anything. Okay, so, Rare Beauty. Charlotte's just a little bit more pigmented and a little bit more pink, but on the lips, I doubt you'd be able to tell the difference. But... Charlotte's the one I'm going to buy again, not Rare. <laughs> the Rare Beauty is a little bit too creamy, if you ask me. Um, because too creamy just dissipates too fast. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, which I might make into a short. I got this a couple weeks ago. Um, no idea what color this is in, but it's a balm. It's not the lipstick, it's a balm. Now, I didn't think the balm was going to be this uh, lackluster. Like on the lips, it's got a nice shine, but it's not that bright of a color. And it dissipates in like 10 minutes. So it was 16 bucks. So what I started to do is I started marking down every time I put it on my lips. I want to see how long it's going to last me. I think I'm up to 15 uses. Like, I'll use it during the day. It's like, okay, pff, whatever. Because my skin is still peeling on my lips. No matter what I put on, it doesn't stop. So, yeah, I'm starting to do that. I'm just marking down. I used it this morning one more time. Finished filling out the four lines to a five. And I think I'm 15 now. So, <laughs> it's an experiment. So I think I'm going to put that as a short and then follow up when we're done. So, I do love cream shadows. If I traveled, these would be in my case. Because it would be a lot quicker than using eyeshadows. I'd probably bring one palette and ten cream pots. <laughs> so... I do need to use these more, I really do, but if I put makeup on, I'm doing a video. It's pretty sad. I need to do a video to get the makeup on, because this is the motivation I need to get my butt in gear. So I love doing this in front of the camera because it makes me feel better. I almost didn't do this today. I almost didn't even get dressed today, let alone take a shower and come in here to do a video. And it the only thing I had in my mind going was video, 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 video. That's how I got myself motivated. So knowing that I'm gonna get a comment from you guys is what is, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> I wish I could get to know you guys more. I really do. I wish I could get to know more of you guys. <laughs> okay. I gotta stop this. I gotta stop this video now. I did my video today. I've got nothing left on my desk. Nothing. Now I get to go to my two pages and see, okay, what's next? <laughs> I finally did that. And I keep looking in my in my my eyeshadow drawer to see what else I can do a video on and all of them are saying and I don't want to do the should it stay or should it go knowing that it's gonna stay I want to be honest about it where it's like okay I'm vacillating 
and then the, the look I do is what determines what I do with it. Just like, I don't know if I posted it yet, but the Odin's Eye. It's just an example. If it's not posted yet, you'll see it soon. Ish. <laughs> now I gotta go post my video. Thank you, everybody. Once again, for coming to visit with me, please leave me a comment, like my video, and subscribe to my channel. I've yet to. <laughs>